What's up, YouTube? So the Miami Dolphins have fired defensive coordinator Josh Boyer. Um, I know this actually happened a little bit ago, um, but I was at work and I didn't get a chance to talk about it. So here I am now. Um, kind of happy, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, our defense really took a dive this year. Uh, I know we had a lot of injuries. Xavier Howard wasn't playing healthy. Uh, Byron Jones we had out all year. Emmanuel Agba ended up going down. Brandon Jones went down. We did have a lot of injuries. But even the guys we had from last year took a massive dive uh, under Josh Boyer without Brian Flores. Um, and we were just so slow to adapt to issues um, on, on offense and defense. But um, I, I'm willing to give Mike McDaniel a second shot just because he is a rookie offensive coordinator and head coach. Um, so I, I'm willing to give him another shot, but Josh Boyer, I am kind of happy we let him go. I think most fans were kind of clamoring for that. Um, our defense was way worse than it should have been, even with the injuries. Um, cause honestly, that should have been a strength for us. Um, I know we didn't, I know we signed, you know, Tyreek Hill to Ryan, to Ron Armstead, um, Connor Williams and all that, but to be honest, the defense was the most sure thing because, you know, we, we kept all of our starters from the la from the previous season, and our defense was great at the end of that year. Um, so I am happy that we let him go. Um, as far as candidates go, I'm not really sure yet. Um, my leading candidate is Vic Fangio, which I, I, I think that's who most – Fans are looking at pretty much every team that want that needs a defensive coordinator. I think they're pretty much going to be looking at him first. Uh, he's a fantastic defensive mind. Um, has coached a lot of really good defenses over the years. Um, he coached the Ravens as an assistant for a little while, um, and then became linebackers coach as well. Uh, coached some very good teams for the San Francisco 49ers under Jim Harbaugh. Um, coach a decent defense over there in Chicago. Um, and even in Denver, their, their team as a whole wasn't that great, but they always had really good defenses. And, I mean, he got the best out of Bradley Chubb. So hopefully he would be able to unlock him if we are able to get him. Um, and even Philly's defense, with him being a defensive consultant, Philly's defense has been incredible this year. I mean, yes, they do have all the players under the sun. Um, but still... Um, so that would definitely be my lead candidate. Beyond that, I'm not really sure. Um, there's some guys that come to mind, but I'd have to do a little bit more research. And uh, honestly, as the process goes along and we see more um, defensive coordinators getting fired, and uh, especially once the play more playoff teams get eliminated, um, we'll start being able to get a better idea of who's even going to be available. But right off the top of my head, I Vic Fangio is definitely my number one candidate. But like I said, um, there's going to be a lot of teams vying for him. And there are also rumors that um, when Mike McDaniel got hired for the Dolphins job, he was looking at Vic Fangio, but ultimately decided to stick with Josh Boyer because the defense was good in 2021. And he wanted to kind of try to do what he could to kind of keep, uh, keep that same core um, as, as close as possible to what we had in 2021, but it just didn't really work out. So that's, that's my thoughts. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.